Well, today I'm back playing around with these LED instrument cluster lights. You know, in the last video I showed you four different colors and the comments were, well, do you have green, do you have blue, do you have purple? I mean, at what point do you stop coming up with different colors? We found that these three colors here, we have the warm white, bright white, and yellow, tend to be the most popular. Red, not so much, and that's probably all we're going to carry. But it was interesting to know a lot of people said, well, I like this color, I like that color, but quite a few people have said, well, why can't I just put a switch and switch between colors? Maybe some nights you have a yearning for orange or bright white on the really dark nights driving down those back roads. Who knows? Just the fun of being able to change bulbs quickly. So I went to work come up with a kit to give you, the owner of a W123 or W126, six bulbs. That's three different types, warm white, bright white, and orange, and show you how to change them quickly. Basically, once you do this a few times, unless you run into a, some sort of weird problem, you can get the old bulbs out and the new bulbs in in less than five minutes. Okay, so you have the W123 chassis right here from 1976 to 1985. You have two bulbs right here that control the brightness of the instrument cluster. And all these other bulbs are for something else. I had one guy write and say, well, it doesn't fit down here. Well, <laughs> pay attention, folks. The W126 over here produced from 1980 to 1991. The two bulbs right here, these are the ones that light up the instruments at night. Just and I said, let's come up with a tool so you can take these bulb holders out. And this was a good idea, but it didn't work. So I'm going to show you how to make a tool. I'm going to show you how to make a tool out of a socket so that you can get these bulb holders in and out. You say, well, Kent, they're not that hard to get in and out. That's true when the clusters are sitting here on the bench. But when you're reaching in behind, trying to get these bulb holders out, without having to remove the cluster, uh, these can be a little difficult, a little troublesome. I'm also going to include this. this that's a surprise gift. <laughs> and you'll get to see how we use that in the video that will come with uh, this kit. I'm gonna do a video showing you how to get these clusters opened up so you can reach in behind, get the bulbs changed, and be on your way in about five minutes. Now with either the W123 or the W126, keep in mind that these new fifth generation LED bulbs are fully dimmable provided you have a working potentiometer. Now these are no longer available for the W123. I do have some rebuilt ones on my website, but these have to be working properly. And if they are working properly, you'll be able to dim these bulbs down real low and crank them up real bright. Same with the W126. Dimmer switches or potentiometers are a little more readily available, but in any case, you're gonna to have to do some hunting if you have a bad one and you'll have to probably get a used one. So in review, some of you may have not seen my previous video. Let's take a look at the W126 cluster with a dim down shop. And I wanna show you right now what it looks like with these warm white bulbs installed. The same cluster, let's take a look once again at what the dash looks like with the bright white bulbs installed. And now let's take a look at the same dash with the orange bulbs installed. And now finally the red. Since uh, I'm a pilot, you know, red is nice to protect night vision, but I made the joke, who worries about night vision? when you're driving down the road with these new car headlights. My, oh my, you'll never save your night vision. So the kit will only include these six bulbs, the special little surprise right here, and instructions on how to make your own special tool. <laughs> I decided not to produce a tool. But remember, if you're gonna do this in any type of a rapid fashion, you're going to have to have the dash poles I will put a link and these can be sold separately because a lot of people already have these. So I did not want to include these in this kit. So there you go. Now you can change your dash light bulbs. Every month you can run a different color and that'll put a smile on your face.